From May 30th to June 14th, the Queen's Council of the Arts dubbed the 7 train the Queen's Art Express. In celebration of the cultural and artistic communities along the train's seven-mile route, local venues opened their doors and at each stop there were works of local artists on display, festive events, and live performances. Queen's Art Express is the number seven line and every single one of the stops that are on it has wonderful artist communities. This project is a way that we can connect all of the artists and all of the art galleries and venues to do what they do best, which is to showcase artists. I'm a board member of the Queen's Council on the Arts, um, a board of trustees, so uh, they came to me as their art liaison, I think, and they said, we're having this big um, Queen's Express week, would you want to be the kickoff center? And I said, of course, I also want an artist to receive a grant from the QCA and be able to build a body of work that he wouldn't be able to build normally. Well, we love the number seven. And we put a call out to all of the art venues that we know along the number seven, who wants to be part of this? And from that list, we came down to about 20, 25 venues that wanted to participate. We met every month, we talked about ideas, we shared artist lists, um, and we became friends. And we started to work and build community on top of that. Uh, we did not curate anything, we said, all we want you to do is to produce a show or something in this period of time. You pick your artist, you pick your theme, you pick everything. We wanted to just market the whole thing together. While the Queen's Art Express highlights art galleries along the Seven, Transpositions along the Queensborough Bridge showcases the work of local artists housed in venues that are in close proximity to the Queensborough Bridge. the idea of crossing a bridge and, and the notion that a bridge spans geography. Uh, it spans more than geography, it spans um, economies, it spans cultures, and it brings things together. So it brings economies together, it brings people together, it brings cultures together. And you know, our wonderful Queensboro Bridge has been doing that for a hundred years. So that's really the theme of the exhibition, is transposing transposing geography and bringing people together. Running until July 31st, this exhibition presents a wide variety of both traditional and contemporary artwork, which all help to mark the bridge's 100th birthday. It was a very open kind of call, and from that I ended up basically curating an exhibition across five different sites in Long Island City. This gallery is actually picturing the Queensboro Bridge itself. So it's really the artist looking out at the bridge and recording some kind of expression about that infrastructure. Other work is more subtle. It's more about the idea of transpositioning. It's about the idea of crossing and bringing together. Um, and so it's more abstract. And some of the work is even somewhat conceptual in uh, the way that it brings history together, it transposes history. So there's a beautiful piece of sculpture in the center of the gallery by Carla Rae Johnson that really brings together sort of the era of Abraham Lincoln and the era of a, a wonderful um, poet, Audre Lourdes, uh, who was a contemporary. She just passed away several years ago. This is an accordion book based on photography and created from printmaking and it's really wonderful because it, it kind of signals some of the, the raw side of um, the environment here and the almost film noir side of that environment. My inspiration is also uh, traveling the subway uh, and that, that comes from actually when, when I was a little girl uh, growing up, my, my mom used to take us to Paris. I grew up in France and my mom used to take us to Paris on shopping trips and the best part was being in the subway and I felt like I was this really cosmopolitan person traveling the subway and you know and here I was I could open and close the doors myself and it was fantastic um, and so moving to New York uh, you know felt like I was in the most cosmopolitan subway system and uh, that's very dear to my heart and so a lot of my inspiration comes from that. I have a studio in Long Island City, and when I walk from the subway train to my studio, I see all this garbage on the street, and that's what inspired me to make this nest, um, especially with the theme of trans 
it's transpositions, you know. I'm an artist and I joined Long Island City Artists Organization about a year ago and I really enjoyed being part of it and I volunteered and the next thing I know I've been on the, you know, asked to be on the board. Both the Queen's Arts Express and transpositions along the Queensboro Bridge have been huge successes. The bridge exhibition will run until the end of July, so there's still time for you to get a glimpse. The next stop for the Queen's Council of the Arts is their summer performance series, Live at the Gantry. All summer long, catch a free outdoor performance every Tuesday at Gantry Plaza State Park. For more information, visit licmagazine.com.